Ground control to Major Idiot. I am observing your plane from a roundabout. You seem to be taking a corkscrew path. Please can you make sure your avionics are accounting for my observation of you seeming to take a corkscrew path, you demented idiot. Oh yes, Mr. Nathan Oakley did a video where he apparently schooled a real pilot about flying and Coriolis. He can do this because of his immense list of qualifications. Um, let me fill that in a bit. He's a flat earther, an ex-hi-fi salesman, total idiot and obnoxious gimboid. You better show us what you've got, Nate. You think the tools in your plane account for it? They can't, they won't, it's an illusion. Tools on planes don't account for illusions, you idiot. Well, I guess you might know about these things, Nathan, because your channel has the illusion of being a debate channel and you're a total tool. That's, uh, you're, you're claiming it's an illusion, not me. Uh, no, it is an illusion. I understand the Coriolis effect definition. Well, this is going to be good, Mr. Jokely, because in all your videos and comments when you've talked about Coriolis, you have demonstrated a total lack of understanding of what it actually is. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up. I want your job. I want you fired. I'm not here to answer your questions. All I'm waiting for is to find out who you are after finding out how dangerous you are because I want to employ, uh, I want to appeal to your employers to have your job taken away. So you want to contact that pilot's employers to have his job because of your total lack of understanding of Coriolis. Well, it's a good job that you don't have a job to lose, Nathan. It means I'm here continually to point out that your instruments don't account for Coriolis. That's dangerous. You think they so, do, that's so wrong. You in, in... No, when someone potentially puts the lives of passengers at risk because they think they're accounting for drift in their tools when they're not, I want them sacked. And when they laugh at me for pointing out a very serious concern about a danger of accounting for illusions that don't happen, you think that's funny. Another reason to want your job. You spiteful little oik, Nathan. I think you'll find that pilots have many, many hours of training and I'm sure that the pilot you were speaking to has many, many hours of experience, whereas you have zero training and zero experience. I would love to be a fly on the wall when you make that phone call. Hello, ATC. Ah, oh, Mr. Oakley. You want Mr. Pilot sacked. Why is that? Because of his understanding of Coriolis. And what's your level of experience of being a pilot? I see. Well, you're a total idiot. But what we can do for you is we can play a game. It's called Fuck Off. You go first. Nathan, if you try that, I think you'll find that you'll be guilty of stalking or harassment. And you'll end up with the police at your door. Again. Now, we don't want that now, does we, my love? No, no, but there's only one what? definition of Coriolis effect. And the definition of Coriolis effect is the illusion of a curved trajectory in the straight path observed from a non-inertial turning reference frame. That's the definition of Coriolis, if you understand it. So there's the definition. It's a shame that you don't understand it or the effect that that has in the real world. No, see, listen, so the, the, them using that term illusion doesn't, I don't think that means what you think it means. And so the illusion would be... It means it's not happening. You don't need to tell me what I think. Now, there is an illusion here, but something very real is happening. The ground actually moving, causing that effect, which is why people would see that from the ground. Do you get well, that? Yes, yes. The illusion would, would be seen from the ground, but it would also be seen from the air. Like, Sorry, the illusion would be seen no, from the ground. Then. So if it's seen from the ground, why are you accounting and for And from it? the air. Sorry, do you think that from the air you, you're rotating in the plane? Nathan, let's try and see if you understand. From the ground on the rotating Earth, we get the illusion that the ballistic object, which is flying in a straight line, is flying in a curved path. From the ballistic object, there will be real-world consequences of this. Yeah, you don't know what Coriolis effect is. No, I do. Well, you'd know that it's only applicable to non-inertial turning reference frames then, wouldn't you, if you did, but you don't know. You know that aircraft aren't rotating, but Coriolis is only observable from rotating bodies, non-inertial turning reference frames. You see, me, I do understand what Coriolis is. No, Nathan, patently you do not understand it. Yes, from the rotating non-inertial reference frame, you will see the illusion of the object flying in a curved path. From the object, you will witness an effect of this. Don't you get it yet? So the, 
it's also observable from an object traveling past a rotating body. Because if you're on the football that's being launched, okay, or the, the, the bullet, the the uh, path of the bullet from the ground we is going to appear curved. Sorry. And if you were riding Sorry. on the Sorry. bullet, the path of the bullet would appear curved. No. But in, in fact, the no. path of the bullet is straight. You no, say... if you were riding on the bullet, your path would be straight. And the path of the yes. bullet is straight. It, 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 the... So therefore not deflecting. So if you're on the bullet, you're taking a straight path. There's no deflection. There's no illusion to account for. At no time did the pilot say that if you were riding the bullet, that the actual path of the bullet is curved. The path remains straight, Nathan, but you can still see, if you were riding on that bullet, you can see the effect of Coriolis. Now, by equivalence, if you're on the plane, you're travelling straight, there's nothing to account for, but you think the gadgets account for it, don't you, clown? They, they do, because... They do? What, account for the straight path? There's no curve in a straight path to account for anything. Firstly, Nathan, you've got the wrong end of the stick. Nobody is saying that on aircraft there is a coriolis meter What we're talking about is the, the standard flight navigation systems and autopilot and so on. Secondly, yes, the bullet, or the plane, is naturally flying straight. But because of the drift of the target you are flying towards, the navigation systems will adjust and change the heading slightly. The bullet flies straight from a perspective on the bullet it's going to look like you're flying a, per a curved path. No, it won't, because it's travelling straight. If you're on something travelling straight, why would it appear curved? This is idiotic. Coriolis is not actual drift observed from a turning body. Yes, Nathan, it appears idiotic to you because you do not understand it. You cannot visualise things in 3D. You have no spatial awareness and you're a know-nothing blowhard. Facts, my friend, facts. Would you, would you like... Would you stutter around everything I say? Yeah, you would, because you're having your ass handed to you by a flat earther who understands Coriolis, unlike you. Well, we'll see about that, because right now Nathan is going to do quite a calm presentation on Coriolis and totally fail to understand what he's showing. And then we will use his own demonstration to debunk his idiocy. In the inertial frame of reference, upper part of the picture, the black ball moves in a straight line. However, the observer open brackets red dot, who is standing on the rotating, non-inertial frame of reference, lower part of the picture, sees the object following a curved path. Correct so far, Nathan. You can obviously read. So why does this happen? Due to the Coriolis and centrifugal forces present in the frame. Excuse me, the, the fuck did you just say? Centrifugal force, Nathan. Firstly, centrifugal force is a fictitious force. You're actually probably thinking of the opposite, which is the centripetal force. But it has absolutely nothing, nothing whatsoever to do with Coriolis. You twit. Two things that stand out in the definition I've just read out. The observer standing in the rotating frame of reference. Yeah, that's not the aeroplane, is it? Yes, the person stood on the red dot on the rotating non-inertial reference frame will see that curved path. What do you think that the pilot of the plane or someone riding that bullet would see, Nathan? Are, are you saying that the person on... No, no, my citation from Wikipedia makes it clear that the observer standing in a rotating frame of reference will observe Coriolis. That's not the plane, though. That was my question. No, the wiki article doesn't mention aeroplanes. Oh, I'm glad, really glad that you're citing Wiki. Let's have a look at what Wiki has to say about Flat Earth. The Flat Earth model is an archaic and scientifically disproven conception of the Earth's shape as a plane or disc. Oh dear. Yeah, so... Y yeah, so when you said you can see Coriolis from the plane, wrong. Because the plane's not rotating, is it? No, you can't. You... No, you can't. Yes, you can, and you're showing it. Because, as per my citation, the effect is observed from the non-inertial frame of reference. Extreme close-up. And it even specifies what that is. It says, quote, 
who is standing on the rotating non-inertial frame of reference. That's the citation, because I understand it. I didn't need it. I've gone and got it for my audience to show how right I am and how idiotic you are to say that you can see it from the air in a plane as the projectile, because that's not a rotating frame of reference. You're just thick. And we're having to school you on what Coriolis is because you don't know. Well, in this lower image, we can see the illusion. We know that that bullet is travelling in a straight line. The observer is stood where the red dot is. It appears as though the bullet, or plane, has travelled in a curved path because, although it's travelling straight, we have moved away from it because of the rotation of the Earth. So let's look at the upper image so that we can see what the rider of the bullet or the pilot of the plane would experience due to the earth turning, due to the Coriolis. I'll turn it upside down just for clarity. So now we have the black bullet being fired at the red target or we've got the aircraft that wants to fly towards its red destination. We're sat on that bullet or flying in that aircraft and we are headed in a straight direction. But due to the turn of the earth, the target, the destination, has moved. You have seen the effect of Coriolis. It is visible from that bullet or plane. So the effect we get from Coriolis is twofold. From the red dot, it appears as though the bullet or plane has travelled in a curved path. From the bullet or plane, it appears as though the target, destination, has veered off to one side. That is Coriolis. If you had actually let the pilot speak and you had listened to him, you wouldn't now look like such a total knob socket. You think that the tools on your plane account for this illusion? You're a moron. No, Nathan, it is you that is the moron. As I said, there is no coriolis meter With a flight plan, your journey from A to B will be via a number of beacons or waypoints. Your autopilot will always keep you headed towards the beacon. So if your beacon has moved off to one side, the plane will adjust its course. So the animation in your video was showing exactly what that pilot was describing to you, only you totally failed to understand it. You are an idiot, Nathan, and you are the weakest link. Goodbye. I want to give massive thanks to all of my supporting members and patrons. Thank you all so very much. Grr.